What's going on world? It's your boy Gemini Brown here, back with another episode of Nalo Kicking Knowledge. Today, we're continuing with our North Node, South Node series, also known as Rahu and Ketu. Today, we'll be discussing North Node or Rahu in the 5th house, South Node or Ketu in the 11th house. What's Rahu? Rahu is what we're here to work towards, all right? The energy and characteristics we need to ascend to, uh, the archetype we really need to embody, our quote-unquote destiny. The South Node shows where we've been, lessons we've learned in the past, and um, things, things we're very much so comfortable with. Fifth house, original house of Leo, is the house of individuality, is the house of, house of creative expression, romance, all right, entertainment. The eleventh house is our social network, okay, our hopes, our dreams, our desires, how we make good on our talent and things of that nature. So let's get into it. Rahu in the fifth house. I like this position. I like it a lot. And now that we're here in the fifth house, um, like I said yesterday, we always want to keep in mind the natural, you know, Correspondences to the house. So this is the original house of Leo. Okay, and like I said, it deals with romance. It deals with our creative expression. So what this incarnation really denotes, especially having Rahu here in the fifth house, is that you're here to, I don't even want to say build your personality because the funny thing is people with this position have a distinguished personality or already so this is really an incarnation about giving that um honing that creative expression and finding ways to express it or give it give it away okay and this is going to come through pardon me i forgot to say children but that's the major correspondence to the fifth house um this your creative expression is going to you know come in uh different forms but especially through children okay especially in the forms of your education and where you choose to go okay the fifth house naturally trines to the ninth house and the ninth house I like to you know is the house of higher learning and I like to consider that college the fifth house here is where you discover your talent though so what's gonna happen here for you know a lot of natives is that you're gonna be good at something and you need to pay attention <clears throat> to the sign on this on this cusp because remember Rahu or the North Node wants to be the planet it's being ruled by. So in terms of you know education, having children, the best the best, you know, in my opinion, position for this would be, you know, being ruled by Jupiter, being, you know, conjunct with Jupiter in a, or in a very positive aspect towards Jupiter. Jupiter is our wisdom, the things we expand upon, you know, is the signal factor of children. Okay, so if it's ruled by Jupiter, you know, a lot of things take, take care of themselves. Now, the next part of this, depending on, you know, different rulers, say you may have this in Capricorn or you know have or you just have Saturn sitting here and you're fit. It's been said, right? It's been said that it makes it difficult to conceive children. Okay? And that can be very much so true. It will be different for everybody. However, what children do, the lesson that you learn here in the fifth house is res the responsibility of what it means to care for a child so even if you are having difficulty conceiving early on the presence of children will still be strong in your life this can be someone who goes actually into the teaching profession this can be somebody who has a job you know like at a daycare or something or at a children's or you know like at, at a, a, a children's doctor Okay, the presence of children will be strong. So this is, you know, one of those positions where, you know, if you're looking for career advice and I see the fifth house, okay, and then I see another correspondence like maybe Jupiter in the tenth or something, I'm pointing you in the direction of doing something with children, okay? Now, we also know this is, like, really important, okay? It truly helps manifest it. 
not just children, but going towards the things of this house. So with this position, I feel like it kind of take it really takes care of itself in the sense of whatever the sign is, if it's Libra, right? You're going to have your fair share of, you know, balanced affairs, of partnerships, of, you know, things of that sign, finding your creativity through others, being, you know, possibly uh, expanding your creativity through children. If it is, you know, in the sign of cancer, this is going to denote a really good imagination and a power within your, an emotional connection towards your, you know, creativity and how it makes others feel. So like I said, this, the, the personality here is normally already distinguished and, and developed. It's just a matter of like confidence remember because it's original fifth house so whatever sign it is you want to you want to grab confidence in that way you want to develop those characteristics and really make them a part of you know your personality your your display your skill set right now speaking on education some more there's great potential here okay this can help others go on to uh have masters, you know, really specialize in in something. However, within all these placements with North Node, Rahu does a thing where it kind of distracts you. So this is the house of entertainment, right? So you know what happens? You know how our 20s are our party times? People would Depending on what sign it is, if it's fire or it's air, it's likely you're going to have a really, really good time, okay? Uh, but through your 20s and that age, you get lost a little bit. You kind of lose your sense of direction in the terms of education. You have a little bit too much fun because fifth house is fun, right? So Raul kind of distracts you and kind of, you know, makes you want to play to the romance aspects of this house uh, a lot more, okay? And this plays into the south note. So if you, if your south note is here on the 11th, okay, this, this denotes that in the past, you were very much so about the group and you were likely to have been a part of something special, okay? So you really want to check you want to check in the in the sense you want to check the ruler of your eleventh as well as any you know assets being made to to the south node to also get an idea of what that may have been okay what how were you connected to your your hopes your dreams and your social network and whether or not those interactions will keeping up sustaining that because the thing with the fifth and eleventh house they they really go hand in hand. The the 11th house is the the place for your talent. You there's no there's no fifth house without the 11th house. Okay, so by developing your own individuality, you're gonna naturally play into the 11th house. However, the key here is to understand you are the star. Because remember, it's original house of Leo, the fifth. So. The universe wants you to embody that, you know, Leo energy, that that sense of this is who I am and this is how I'm going to express it. And the group, the 11th house naturally gravitates towards that. But you can't go in it. Oh, perfect example, right? This is, she doesn't have this placement as far as I know, but it's like with Beyonce and Destiny's Child. I don't know if anybody, Destiny's Child was a pretty successful group, but she could only be a part of that group for so long. She wouldn't have been able to become Beyonce if she never fully embraced that fifth house. And that fifth house came with me and Jay-Z and you know, so on and so forth. So for people with this access, you're always going to want to be a part of the group and the collective is going to gravitate towards you, barring, you know, that you had... Uh, some good karma, like I said, check, check Uranus, check, you know, Saturn, check the ruler and its aspects. But um, 
the group will embrace you, but you have to embrace yourself. You have to say, okay, I'm not putting the group before me, um, but it's all about balance here, all right? So, like I said, if you play too much to the South Node, you get caught up in having too much fun, you know, trying to play the field, you know, dating, dating, and you miss the, you miss the, the specialization fact that, you know, you are here to really become that master of, you know, what creative expression you decide to undertake, all right? Uh, let me see. For, for my real, for my real Vedic people, um, say you're going through like a, a Mahadasha, this is for the Vedic people's the term, uh, you're, you're, like you're going through your fifth house Mahadasha, right, or say it's with Rahu or, you know, the ruler of your fifth, you're going to be really, really, you know, uh, fertile at that time so this is this can be a time where you actually do get to conceive but like i said if there are certain harsh aspects going on here they can be difficulty but definitely the children come with age okay but there will always be a wisdom and opportunities to learn from children and work with children okay so guys this is my interpretation of rahu in the fifth k2 in the 11th i hope you enjoyed Feel free to comment. If you need a reading, email me. Till next time, peace.